Movie licensed games are usually hailed as hot garbage these days. The 80s were no different. Most of these games were published by LJN, considered by many to be the unholy stamp of death. But rainbow or not, there's a shark terrorizing the seven seas. But the predator is about to become the prey, because this is America, and staying out of the water just isn't an option. This show is unscripted. Anything can happen at any time. So buckle up, crack open a cold one, and get ready. I'm Danny, and welcome to the Retro Crash and Burn. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 20 of the Crash and Burn. We are playing Jaws for the NES. Now, I don't know what some of you guys are thinking. What in the holy hell are we doing playing Jaws for the NES? This is a terrible game from a terrible company. Why are we playing it? Well, this is one of the biggest pieces of my childhood. This is probably the first game that is not Mario or Zelda that I've played. And I still own the cartridge. So I'm at my grandmother's house playing Mario Brothers or something. She comes in and throws this game down. And I'm like, what the hell is this? She beats my ass, washes my mouth out with soap, and sits me back down. Okay, this is Jaws. I, I, I made that part up. But anyway, I'm trying too hard here. Uh, so anyway, so Jaws, at the time, I was four years old. I had never heard of the movie. What's wrong with you? That's right. I've not never have I heard of this movie. It was it wasn't until like a year or two later that I even knew this there was a movie that existed. And I'm like, there's a movie in this? What the crap? So uh yeah. Anyway, that's uh the story of that. Uh so yeah, let's uh before we get started, I'm going to make a little disclaimer. I'm gonna be dragging this out a little bit. I've got a little objective that I need to uh, do before I beat the game. Otherwise, I'm going to beat it really fast, like less than 10 minutes. And you know how I like to do music and stuff, right? So I will. Ha I I'm going to uh, put an objective. And I just lost my train of thought. I will have to get to power level number nine. I had another uh, objective uh, dude, I was going to have the mini sub, but I think the level 9 thing is uh, pretty, uh, drags it out enough. And I think I've already drug it off, drug, drug this out enough as it is. I really got Tarantino this junt. So, uh, there we go, same junt again. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. So, if you've never seen this before, this is basically map screen. You got this Final Fantasy style gameplay. Now, Final Fantasy wasn't really big yet, so you basically do this, farm up mainly shells, and you use that for your money. Now, somewhere on the map is Jaws himself, or the Great White, rather. He's never called Jaws in any of the movies. Uh, So starfishes give you uh, points, and you need points. They give you, uh, well, you get uh, a mini sub for make, getting 30,000 points. Uh, you also want to get these crabs that come out uh, that make you go a little faster. You can get like three of them. So I, I got two of them. Uh, I don't know how they make you go faster. I guess one bites you. I guess they bite you. Uh, one bites you in the left nut, one bites you in the right nut. And then the other one bites you in the pee pee. And there you go. And it makes you, you swim really fast. Look at that. Look, look at him go. So, somewhere on the map is, yeah, Jaws. And you'll, you'll see him soon enough. He's uh, stalking around the uh, ocean. 
uh, stabbing people or eating people rather. This is uh... so yeah. This was published by. Oh yeah, here's a baby shark. This is not Jaws. This is a baby shark. And I'm sorry for anyone who watched the last episode who got that song stuck in their head. I, I've had that planned out for months. I knew episode 20 was going to be Jaws because it was special to me. Uh, so yeah, this is a little bonus level. You get some shells by killing killing jellyfish. PETA would be very proud. Save our eco ecosystem. Kill things. Uh, So I played the mess out of this when I was a kid. I didn't know how to beat it. I had no idea. I thought, you know, just, okay, you, you go through the levels, you go on the plane every once in a while, and you just, you know, just have a good old time, you know? And I'm, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a kid. I don't know what a terrible game is. Uh, I just know is give, give me a controller and a game, and I'm having fun. And, uh... So yeah, this is the, the... Oh, oh, there he is, right there. There's Mr. J himself. So yeah, you go through from port to port, back and forth, and uh, you spend your shells to get your upgrades. And that's how, you, it's how you get your power level up. Right now it's at power level one. If you look up to the bottom center, And each upgrade takes uh, more shells to get, so. By the way, I got kind of a new setup going on. This is the first, there's a lot of first in this episode. This is the first episode that's not using my PS4. So, uh, every other episode, this is... Uh, and I'm also not in my game room. I'm I'm in, I'm sitting on my wife's vanity. I'm utilizing that. It looks looks pretty good right now. Uh, I'll make improvements. I chose this because there's more carpet in the room. Okay, so my power level is now three. I can go beat this game like right now if I wanted to. So just to show you, I'm gonna hit Jaws. There's Mr. J. He looks like a whale. So your ultimate goal here is to get... Look look how, look how fast he's, his uh, stuff's going down. He's pretty easy to deal with, too. So he, he doesn't do anything special. He just goes... He just goes back and forth across the screen. But I'm not gonna finish the game here. Oh, <laughs> almost died. I'm all, also, I almost have thirty thousand. Oh. Oh, I'm going this way. And mini sub's not there. It is somewhere else. It's probably over there. It is. Boom. It's mine. And this is pretty cool. You can move a lot faster. Shoot bombs. And you move faster, shoot faster, throw down bombs. And if you get hit, you lose your mini sub instead of your life. So. I got a lot more shells to grab, so. find a, a couple more weird, weird little weirdo facts about me because I'm because I'm just not weird enough you know I, mean, I got all kinds of random stuff uh, one you may not know about me is I used to swing dance yes I used to swing dance pretty crazy to think about as someone who listens to 
metal and rock does swing dancing. So, uh, that's a very uh, weird fact about me. Uh, not really weird. It's actually pretty pretty cool. I get, you know, I score some cool points with it too. So, uh, my wife swears up and down. She doesn't dance, but I see her dancing all the time. Plus, I swing dance with her sometimes, and she doesn't even, she, she doesn't realize it at times. So I just twirl her around a little bit, and, and that's pretty much all you all the, all the follow quote unquote does is do the footwork, and the man does the rest. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play. Ooh, that's ooh, that's weird. Oh yeah. The, 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 also, this game gets progressively harder as as uh, the longer you take to kill Jaws. You get more sharks. You get homing. You get a little homing jellyfish. So before I got my new car, it's not really new anymore, but before I got it, uh, I didn't have a radio. <laughs> I, I mean, I had a radio, but I didn't have a CD player, so I had to listen to Memphis Radio, which I did not like because all I had was a couple classic stations, which was lame. Well, every Sunday morning, they did this, one of the, one of the stations did this thing called the Blues Brunch which they play some bluesy stuff. And that's where I heard this song I'm about to play from. It's from a guy named Terrazzo Cannon. Uh, he's from Chicago. And uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be quite a departure from the usual rock and metal. So, enjoy this song. I'm gonna play it for you right now. I hope you like it. Uh, it's called Fine Season Woman by Terrazzo Cannon. Enjoy. Now, young woman, leave me be 
and send your mama and hear me. I wanna find season one more. Hey, I like a five season. Toronto Cannon with Fine Season Woman. I hope you liked that. That was uh, a little more relaxing than normal. Oh, damn. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't have enough shells to upgrade, so I got to get a few more. Uh, my wife wasn't here <laughs> right next to me, so I had to hit the stop button. I think I figured that out by now. So the good thing about the game getting harder is that it spits out more shells. I mean, more sharks come and it spits out more shells. So I should be able to upgrade. Yeah! Alright, so one thing I forgot to do on the last episode was uh, I was going to review a movie called... Oh, shit. Yeah, that was the movie. Yeah, that, that was a pretty hell of a name for a movie. You know, it's called Underwater. I tried to uh, uh, talk about it, but I quickly forgot. I got kind of caught up in the moment and uh, didn't say much about it. Oh, shit! I just lost my mini-sub. But it's okay. My diver is alive. So yeah, Underwater, really, really good movie. If you've not seen it, you should check it out. Uh, I'm not as good at reviewing movies as uh, Blake is, but I'll, I'll do my best here. Uh, Almost died. Holy hell. Uh, okay. So anyway. So anyway, underwater. Uh, it's got uh, Kristen Stewart. You might know her from that one movie with the sparkly vampires. Uh, she does a great job in this movie. Uh, it's got a bunch of got a bunch of other big names. It's got uh, T.J. Miller is in it. I don't know the rest of the actors' names. I'll let Blake look all that stuff up for you and later. But uh, anyway, it's uh, it takes place in an underwater research facility, and uh, like way deep underwater. Like if you like you'll uh, you'll fold over if you get hit or if you uh, go underwater or something. Uh, so anyway, uh, the facility starts crashing down. And they don't know what's going on, but, uh, it's like a, it's, it's like a horror, it's, it's like a horror movie, but it's, uh, not like a slasher film, it's more like a, uh, it's kind of like Cloverfield. Uh, a lot of people hated that movie. But I thought it was a good movie because uh, it just kept me on the edge of my seat the whole freaking time. But yeah, it's got. It's not like your standard horror movie where you got you it doesn't have your standard tropes or you don't got the two guy two chick guys and 
Then I got two people banging in the... Woo! I almost died. Uh... Like banging in the bedroom, slasher comes up and kills them and all that. Uh, no, like all the characters are like very likable. So uh, I couldn't get a read on like who like who was gonna die, who was not gonna die, and all that. Uh, even T.J. Miller's character was was likable. Even he was kind of annoying. My wife liked him, but. Uh, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But he acted like he was still in the Deadpool movie. He was still he was still a very li likable character though, and like and uh if someone died, you know, you are kinda sad, kinda like Walking Dead. Alright, I'll take those shells, thank you very much. There's one crappy thing uh in the movie that I there's like two two things that I didn't like so much, and if I, I can't really talk about them, then I would spoil the movie. And uh, and I didn't really see a trailer for it either, so I kind of Drew and Blake had this thing against movie trailers. I I watch movie trailers sometimes if I if something I want to see, I'll check out a trailer. But I went, I went into that movie blind. It was, uh, I, was, I was very impressed with that movie. Kristen Stewart did a great job. Was, all the actors did a good job. and I, I was sad to see people get killed in that movie. So anyway, Underwater. It's a good movie. Go see it. We're going to keep this train rolling here. I'm getting a ton of shells. So as you... As you may have imagined, uh, each upgrade costs more. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got that one at the end. So yeah, if you don't know, LJN was actually a toy company. If you've never heard of LJN. If you if you've watched like, Angry Video Game Nerd or any of that any of that stuff, any of that jazz, uh, you would be quite familiar with uh, AVGN. He's in the uh, and LJN. It was so it was basically a toy company. They're famous for making a bunch of the movie based action figures. Oh, I went and I just went the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Not going down there. That's a minefield down there. It's shallow. If you're on the bottom, those things can home right in on you, so. Power level seven, so I got two to go. Uh, I should have enough to get me through. Okay, oh god! Ah! Okay. So it's not really about getting shells; it's about survival now. So anyway, it was a toy company, and. Uh, Oh, I don't see the mini sub. It's probably down on the bottom of the map. Man, he is cruising for it. Yes! All right. Uh, so I got one more level. And so anyway, LJM is a toy company. And then they dip their feet into making games. So they, they didn't actually make any of the games they they uh, published. I need like 30 shells for this final upgrade. So... Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Uh, okay, so I just died. 
Well, that just happened. Okay, so I gotta go get my transceiver again, which really sucks because I gotta do. I gotta spend more shells. I gotta go get my thingy. So now I need like 40. This is why mini sub is good, because that way if you accidentally get hit. You don't die. So anyway, LJN made. Oh yeah, you lose all your speed upgrades. I don't have crabs anymore. Not crabs. Anyway, they uh, LGN published. This game, they did the Karate Kid game, they did Nightmare on Elm Street, and also did uh, they did Friday the Thirteenth, which I would like to do that in the somewhat near future. That's that's more that's a better Crash and Burn game. For one, I've never actually beaten it. There's Mr. J. Tempted to just go kill him. Let right, me get his health down to zero. It doesn't. Uh, he doesn't die automatically. You have to go to the final scene and finish him off. You actually have to stab your boat into him. You'll see that here shortly. All right, more shells. Yes. Fascinated with uh, LJN Defenders video on Jaws is uh, for one, it took me back to my childhood. Which he made a really good point about uh, this game. They didn't do a whole lot. It just doesn't have much to do with the movie. Any of the movies, really. It, uh, Okay, if the uh, spinny sub is in the same spot, I'm gonna go snatch that up real quick. And damn. Okay. Yeah, so, some of the some of the movie games, you know, follow the movie. This one does not very much. Oh yeah, and then you cannot hide on the top of the map from the baby shark. They're actually more deadly than Jaws himself. I'm gonna get that mini sub so I don't die again. Oh shit. to see someone else on the internet who had an appreciation for this game. He wasn't as uh, well versed in this game as I was, but uh, he, he did like it. Uh, he liked it more than most. Alright, let's not lose this one again. Let's not die again.
Yeah, I've mentioned that guy before. He's really, he's really good. I don't, he's probably not doing LG and Defender anymore. He's probably, I think he's probably just covered all the games. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. So, I think I got all the shells I need. So, so LJ and Defender, go check him out. He, like I said, he's probably not... I don't know what he's up to these days. Uh, his videos are a few years old, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to shoot him a message. He actually responded to a message I sent him one time. Like, when he did his Jaws video. He was like, hey, great video, man. He was like, yeah. Made me kind of happy. I should probably post this on on him to see if you invite him to see it. So, LJ and Defender, if you're watching this, hi. Hope you like this uh, web series that I sort of doing. Oh my goodness. I think I got all the shells I'm ever going to need, so we're gonna just power on through this. Alright, so, how about I left anything out that I want to talk about? Nope, nope, I covered everything, so I'm just gonna sit here and look pretty while I beat the mess out of this game. Okay, well, uh, so my wife has started doing crochet, and she uh, actually sold her first doll recently, and she did a great job with uh, what she did. Uh, she been making little characters. She made me a Link doll one, one day. Uh, that turned out really well. She. she she does it from scratch. She doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't really follow a uh, pattern or anything. But she crochets these dolls and does really well on them. Uh, her first customer loved the mess out of it. All right. And she's wanting to start a business. Uh, she we, we don't know what to name it yet, so she we're, we're still working on the name, but she, uh, she makes bees, and guess what? Power level 9, we're about to finish this junt up, so. I'll just wait for Mr. J. So anyway. Yeah, she, she did a whole... Someone else gave her, gave her a little concept, and she followed the concept, and just, just nailed this uh, character. And uh, made a nice chunk of change off of it. So, uh, so I'll be uh, promoting that here in the near future when you know, we get a name, and Jaws is dead. All right, so we got three we got three chances to stab him and kill him. I push the A button, and that brings him up. He basically just goes up and down, left and right, and your goal is to stab him with the bow, just like in Jaws 4, The Revenge. Uh, 
if you miss three times, he gets all his health back, and you have to kill him again. So, which, which I got, I'm power level nine. It's no big deal. And usually, I can just do this in one shot. But if you don't know what you're doing, this might take a few tries. Oh, missed. All right. This is already taking longer than I planned. Uh, oh yeah, this is also the first episode where I'm using I'm using a new microphone. Drew and Blake hooked me up with a sweet uh, microphone. Uh, I didn't, I, you know, I'm, money got real tight, and I can't really go out spending a lot of money. And Drew and Blake hooked me up with their old one. So, uh, this is really nice. Uh, thanks, Drew Blake. Uh, I actually used this on last episode's intro. This is going to be embarrassing if I screw this up. So. Well, shit. Alright, well, let's try it again. Oh, really? Oh, really? You're gonna do that to me. Alright, here we go. Try this again! By the way, beyond uh, power level nine, you get extra strobes. A little far. Man, what is wrong with me tonight? I had this much trouble out of this final stage. Fuck, I'm so much, in so much pressure. I got millions of people watching me. Not really, I got like 12. Damn, alright. Well. It's the seventh. There we go. Yay! He's dead. We can all swim in the ocean again without fear of getting hit by a shark. Because jellyfish and stingrays are not just as deadly. Anyway, so that's Jaws. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a love for it that I, that I do. Uh, if I had seen the movie, if I had been a fan of the movie before playing this game, I might not have liked it so much. Uh, but this game, they went, they made this game into something that a four-year-old can, can play and enjoy. So thank you, LJN, for making this piece of my childhood. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me play it. Uh, if you get a chance to play it, uh, play it sometime. It's, it's, it's very relaxing. It's very uh, it's chill for the most part. It gets a little gets a little hairy in some areas. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna go hang out with my wife now, and uh, so uh, I'm 
signing off. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you next time.